Bangkok Sukkot. Nothing is permanent except God. Rabbi Karl Bach. I was lost on Khao Sung Road looking for the Chabad. I walked past it twice because a giant sukkah, a hut with palm leaf roof, was built in front of it. I missed the sukkah because I was distracted by the throngs of Thais and tourists intermingling on the bustling streets of Bangkok, slipping in and out of the street side massage parlors, food carts, and bars with thumping music. Upon finding the Chabad, a young rabbi hunt handed me a large yellow egg-like fruit and a shrug in one hand and a branch with palm leaves, ulo, in the other. He instructed to put the two together and shake them as he guided me with a sukkah brucha, a blessing. He explained to me that this is a sukkot tradition and it signifies the coming together of all Jews regardless of religious denomination or geographic birthplace. Sukkot began as a Jewish holiday celebrating God-given Jews clouds as they fled Egypt through the hot desert. During Sukkot, Jews built a temporary structure with a palm leaf roof called Sukkah. The whole week they are to sleep and eat inside, experience the nature and the world. San Diego downtown Chabad Rabbi Karlbach said, Nothing is permanent except God. And making an impermanent home where we eat and sleep reminds us of that. It offers us a chance to connect with the true permanence, God. This knowledge is supposed to give our lives permanence based on a greater reality than illusions of relationships, money, jobs, health, etc. It is a common knowledge that many couples met each other for their first time inside a sukkah and later were married under a chuppah. Maybe because of the bond created during the night as custom to tell stories of past Sukkots. The stories celebrate diversity as they describe ways in which other cultures decorate their Sukkahs, from the rugs of the Bacharians to the hanging fruit decor of the Persians in the Sukkah towns of Jerusalem, where one can walk down the street without ever leaving a Sukkah. Memories of grandparents and parents are shared amid tears and laughter, and new friendships are often made on Sukkot. Inside the Sukkah in Thailand, I met Americans, Ethiopians, Guatemalans, and Syrians. The combination of the friendly holiday and the friendly nature of Thailand led to a relaxing of boundaries and the creation of bonds that surpassed space and time. Back in San Diego, surfing Rabbi Newfield of K Congregation said to the congregation, it is a mitzvah to be happy on Sukkot and his commandment to be happy during Sukkot because ancient Jews saw how it is not easy to be happy, even in those times. Thus, for the common benefit, it is a holiday in which God commands all to be happy for eight days, hopefully leading to a happiness that is longer lasting.